For today's video, we are going to talk about how to simplify trigonometric expressions and we are going to explain everything in details. In simplifying trigonometric expressions, there are different kinds of identities that you need to remember. The first one is the reciprocal identities. In reciprocal identities consists of sine theta equals 1 over cosecant theta, cosine theta equals 1 over secant theta, tangent theta equals 1 over cotangent theta, cosecant theta equals 1 over sine theta, secant theta equals 1 over cosine theta, cotangent theta equals 1 over tangent theta. So aside from reciprocal identities, we also have quotient identities, and that is tangent theta equals sine theta over cosine theta, cotangent theta equals cosine theta over sine theta. And lastly, we have Pythagorean identities, and that is cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta, which is equal to 1. And we also have 1 plus tangent squared theta equals secant squared theta. And then we have 1 plus cotangent squared theta equals cosecant squared theta. And those are the different kinds of identities that you need to remember. So let's start and let's have an example. On example number 1, sine theta, secant theta. In simplifying trigonometric expression, we are going to change each term of the expression as sine or cosine. We all know that secant theta is equal to 1 over cosine theta. So we are going to replace secant theta as 1 over cosine. So let us have sine theta and secant that is 1 over cosine theta theta. Let us simplify. Sine theta multiplied by 1, that is sine theta. And let us rewrite cosine theta. Sine theta over cosine theta, that is tangent theta. And this will be our answer. On example number 2, we have tangent theta, cosecant theta. So if we are going to simplify this one, let us write tangent theta as sine theta over cosine theta. And let us write cosecant theta as 1 over sine theta. So let us have tangent theta, that is sine theta over cosine theta. And let us have cosecant theta, that is 1 over sine theta. So let us cancel this one. It will give us 1 over cosine theta. And this will be our answer. On example number 3, we have tangent theta, cosine theta over sine theta. So to simplify this one, always remember that tangent theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta. So let us rewrite tangent as sine theta over cosine theta and let us rewrite cosine theta and let us have sine theta on the denominator so we are going to cancel this one it will give us sine theta over sine theta and sine theta over sine theta that is 1 and this will be our answer on example number 4, we have cosecant squared theta plus secant squared theta. So to simplify the given expression, we all know that the reciprocal of cosecant is 1 over sine theta. And the reciprocal of secant theta is 1 over cosine theta. Since we have cosecant squared theta, let us rewrite this one as 1 over sine squared theta plus secant squared theta that is 1 over cosine squared theta. And let us simplify. Let us have sine squared theta and cosine squared theta on the denominator. And let us have sine squared theta, cosine squared theta divided by sine squared theta 
Let us cancel this one. It will give us cosine squared theta multiplied by 1. That is cosine squared theta. And then, let us have sine squared theta, cosine squared theta, that is the denominator, divided by cosine squared theta. Let us cancel this one. It will give us sine squared theta. And since we have cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta, which is equal to 1, that means to say the value of cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to 1. So let us have 1 over sine squared theta cosine squared theta. And this will be our answer. On example number 5, secant squared theta minus tangent theta over cotangent theta. So to simplify the given expression, what are the things that we need to remember? Since the reciprocal of secant theta, that is 1 over cosine theta, and the value of tangent theta is sine theta over cosine theta, and the value of cotangent theta, that is cosine theta over sine theta. Since we have secant squared theta, let us rewrite this one as 1 over cosine squared theta minus the value of tangent theta, which is sine theta over cosine theta divided by cotangent, which is cosine theta over sine theta. And to simplify, let us write 1 over cosine squared theta minus and to simplify this one, let us multiply sine theta times sine theta, that is sine squared theta. On the denominator, we have cosine theta times cosine theta, that is cosine squared theta. And since we have the same denominator, let us copy the denominator, which is cosine squared theta, and let us have 1 minus sine squared theta. Since we all know that cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals to 1, if we are going to move sine squared theta on the side of 1, it will give us cosine squared theta equals 1 minus sine squared theta. That means to say the value of 1 minus sine squared theta is cosine. So let us rewrite this one as cosine squared which is 1 minus sine squared theta over cosine squared theta. Cosine squared theta divided by cosine squared theta, that is 1. And this will be our answer. On example number 6, sine theta plus cosine theta all over cosine theta minus tangent theta. So to simplify this one, let us write sine theta plus cosine theta all over cosine theta and let us change tangent theta as sine theta over cosine theta. So let us have minus tangent theta which is sine theta over cosine theta. And since we have the same denominator that is cosine theta, let us write sine theta plus cosine theta minus sine theta on the numerator. Sine theta minus sine theta, that is 0. It will give us cosine theta over cosine theta, that is 1. And this will be our answer. On example number 7, we have tangent squared theta minus sine raised to 4 theta over cosine squared theta. So to simplify this one, let us change tangent theta as sine theta over cosine theta. Since we have tangent squared theta, this will give us sine squared theta over cosine squared theta. And let us write sine raised to 4 theta over cosine squared theta. Since we have the same denominator, let us copy the denominator that is cosine squared theta 
and let us have sine squared theta minus sine raised to 4 theta on the numerator. So let us factor this one. The greatest common factor between sine squared theta and negative sine raised to 4 theta is sine squared theta. So let us have sine squared theta, this one, divided by sine squared theta, that is 1. And then, let us have negative sine raised to 4 theta divided by sine squared theta. Let us subtract their exponent. And since we have negative, that is negative sine squared theta. So this is 1 minus sine squared theta over cosine squared theta. Since we have cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta, which is equal to 1, if we are going to move sine squared theta on the side of 1, this will give us cosine squared theta equals 1 minus sine squared theta. So the value of this expression is cosine squared theta. So let us change 1 minus sine squared theta as cosine squared theta. So this will be sine squared theta times cosine squared theta all over cosine squared theta. And we can cancel this one. It will give us sine squared theta. And this will be our answer. On our last example, we have cosine squared theta over 1 minus sine theta. So to simplify this one, we all know that cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals to 1. And if we are going to move sine squared theta on the side of 1, this will give us cosine squared theta equals 1 minus sine squared theta. So the value of cosine squared theta is equal to 1 minus sine squared theta. So let us change cosine squared theta as 1 minus sine squared theta. And let us write the denominator that is 1 minus sine theta. And to simplify the numerator, let us use the idea of sum and difference of the same term. So if we are going to have a squared minus b squared, this will give us a plus b multiplied by a minus b. So if we are going to write 1 minus sine squared theta in terms of sum and difference of the same term, this will give us 1 plus sine or sine theta multiplied by 1 minus sine theta all over 1 minus sine theta. So if we are going to multiply 1 plus sine theta by 1 minus sine theta, it will give us 1 minus sine squared theta. So we can cancel this one. It will give us 1 plus sine theta. And this will be our answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.